So I guess we can call you a crossover artist. You yeah. dance, acting, writing, and you also have a blooming music career. Yes. So tell us a little bit about that, what's happening. Yeah, well I got my own production company along with a business partner of mine, Don Cox, uh, Fire Drop Music. And right now what we're doing is we're putting a soundtrack together for the book. All the songs, they kind of like reflect on some of, some of the things in the book. And then it's just, you know, just good music. And um, right now, you know, the name of it is called Jack of All Trades. Mm -hmm. Because when you think about a person that has a jack of all trades, that means they can do anything, you know. Uh, whether it's cook, they clean, engineer, you know, anything like that. But for me, calling that soundtrack that, I'm giving you different genres of music. Mm -hmm. You're getting hip hop, you're getting some uh, hip hop and R&B type records, you're getting like hip hop rock records, you're getting pop records. And all this is just, you know, showing another element of my talent. My two records right now, this on iTunes, is Watch, Learn, and Listen, and Make This Money. And um, Watch, Learn, and Listen is kind of like that Trey Chaney statement record saying, yeah. if you don't know about me now, you need to watch me, you need to learn about me, and you need to listen to what I got to say. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's kind of like a motivational song for anybody in the world that feels as though that they can't accomplish goals or dreams. It's just telling people, watch, learn, listen. And then, you know, make this money with the type of economy we living in. Right. I just think it's the perfect anthem for, for the world. You right. Know? Make, Definitely. make this money. I've heard it. It, it, it that, it's hype, too. And, and, not, it. and not in a bad way. Yeah. You know? yeah. I don't want to give off that type of perception, you know. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm real, I'm real excited about it. I can't wait. I think to give it, I mean, because we're, we're working on a lot of songs, so I'm not going to say that it's coming out in, like, March or something of 2010. Right. right? It's coming soon. You know? So look for it. Yeah, so look for it. So what does it take to to keep the momentum in this industry? What what could you tell somebody that's up and coming, that's a poop? Yeah. Still in the hood, still where they are trying to, you know, do better. Just do better. What would you tell them? Well, be prepared for rejection. You know, if you don't have a... If you don't have that mindset that I might get rejected by a hundred people, then this business is not for you. Wow. You know, and I mean, you really have to hustle and just take it upon yourself to, to do what you have to do. You know, I mean, of course you have examples. You have people in the industry that, you know, moved to Hollywood and slept on people's porch and stuff like that. That's what they did to right. get to where they are, but, you know, I guess I want to put it in the sense of being a positive person. Mm -hmm. And you always got to, you know, really put God first and, and have thick skin because nobody's going to hand you anything. You know, I, I still had to audition for the role of Pooh. I still got to audition for the independent films that, I, that, I'm, uh, that I'm currently in. You know, as far as my book, I took it upon myself to write it myself. Yeah. You know, I had Yolanda D. Coleman, which is a good friend of mine, who, um, you know, collaborated with me on it. But the story, it, it had to come from me. Right. So if you could just start within yourself and be prepared, like I said, for that, that word, rejection, is serious, you know, because people coming. sometimes they get, they get bent out of shape and, and depressed and, and give up. And quit. Me, you know, I'm a, I'm a hustler, you know So what I'm when saying? you got the door closed in your face, or yeah. you got the rejection, or you're not right for this role, what did you have to tell yourself? To keep moving, right? to keep, you know, striving for my dreams, to keep telling myself that I am prepared for the role and it's just their loss, right? you know? And I mean, just keep on being creative and taking it upon myself to create my own lane. That's what I'm doing. I'm creating my own lane with music, movies, mm -hmm. books. You know, right now I'm about to get in the producer and director's chair with these next couple of films I got coming up. Mm -hmm. So. It just feels good to have control over my own destiny. Yeah. I mean, you So know. speaking of what you have coming up, um, take us out of here. Tell us what you have coming up. Tell us what we can expect from Trey. Well, y'all definitely can expect the album. You know, Jack of All Trades is coming real soon. And uh, actually, you're going to be the first one to know the date so we can, you know, premiere. Nice. And uh, what we do, I did a film with Freeway that, that's out in Blockbuster's Target right now called What We Do. It's, it's, it's based on his life. But we're working on part two, starting in March of uh, 2010. 
What We Do, part two. It's me, Freeway, mm -hmm. uh, Benny Siegel, supposed to be making an appearance in it. And you have the Wire Tour possibly coming up. Yeah, too. the Wire Tour where, you know, me and a lot of my cast members, such as, you know, the Bodies, the Stringers, the Wallace, uh, Omar, Snoops, we, we all supposed to be getting together, putting together. Everybody. Yeah, just to, you know, really go around. We're going to hit different schools. Mm -hmm. We're going to hit different clubs. You know, we're going to hit just different malls and really, you know, all of us together just going around maybe speaking to the young people, yeah. speaking to some of our fans that haven't seen us in a while. Like, and maybe The Wire will come back. Maybe, maybe. You know, it's up in the air right now. And then, um, you know, just really running around with my nonprofit organization, the Right Stuff Literacy Program. That's mm -hmm. what I'm, you know, focused on, really trying to encourage these people to read more, you know. And, and we're doing that with my book being like the, the standard book as well. Because like I said, I wrote it from the heart. Right. And it's nothing that nobody can't understand. And, right. and the young people, they really can identify because I was in their shoes once, you know, whether whatever they're going through, if they're suffering from depression, mm -hmm. if they, you know, have a habit of, you know, the, the whole quote unquote beefing with each other and stuff like that. I've been through stuff like that, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, you know, just just trying to motivate and inspire every day through, like I said, the music, uh, me being an author, the movies and just taking control of my destiny. Cool. Well thank you so much yeah, for stopping through it. with us. Yeah. The book, The Truth You Can't Betray. Mm -hmm. Get it. Pick it, it up. It's on Amazon.com by the way. The book, The Truth You Can't Be Traced, on Amazon.com, keyword Trey Cheney. My, uh, my music um, is, is going to be available through iTunes. I got my two singles, Make This Money, Watch, Learn, and Listen, on iTunes right now as we speak. So y'all got to go get that. Okay. Go get it right now. And um, just look forward to uh, more and more stuff to come with this new year coming up. Mm -hmm. You know, Trey Cheney and his, and his staff, we're going to be out there ripping and running, you know. So when we come back, you're going to do a performance, right? Yeah, I'm going to perform my hit record. You know, this on iTunes right now. Watch, learn, and listen. Okay. Watch, learn, listen. Come back. Trey Chaney. We're going to watch. We're going to learn. We're going to listen.